hello and welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to explain what are the different loads acting on building first of all we have dead load dead load is a load which never moves for example when you construct a building whatever the load of the building would be it will remain the same and it will call dead load and the factor of safety for the dead load in british standard is 1.5 Three five, and in U.S. standard, this is British standard, and uh, in U.S. standard, it's one point two. This is U.S. standard. So the second one we have live load. Live load is a load which is changing with the time. For example, in a building or in a, in a bridge or in any other structure, this load is a load which comes from. the things or from the vehicle or from other things from people it always changes with the time and the factor of safety for a live load is 1.5 this is british standard and uh, 1.6 is from us standard okay the other load we have so this is number 1 number 2 and number 3 we have super imposed load super imposed dead load sorry super imposed dead load okay super imposed dead load is basically is a load which is added to a dead load for example if we have a building we have constructed a building with the wall with the beams and column and later we decided to put some extra load to build something extra within that building for example if you have built build a building but later you decided to give some partition wall in to add some washrooms to add some you know a kitchen area for example so the whatever load comes after constructing or after completion of the building that is called super imposed load okay the other one we have wind load okay wind load is basically a load which is imposed on building by the wind during a windy season for example high rise building or other structure for example bridges and all that stuff these get uh, gets affected with the wind because when the high wind comes and it pushes uh, the structure to other direction and the formula for the wind load is f is equal to area multiplied by p multiplied by cd okay the f is a force area is a object uh, area area of the object sorry a, a is area of object and p is a wind pressure and cd is a drag force for example and there is also drag force acting on that building as well due to wind i will uh, make a separate video on wind load how to calculate it properly the other load we have snow load okay what is snow load snow load is a load which comes from the snow obviously as you can see with the name it's a snow load comes from the snow these kind of load acts downward to the building as normally we see snow always rest on top of building on the rooftop for example so it always pushes that building downwards okay and if the load of snow is greater than uh, the bearing capacity of the of the wind uh, sorry uh, bearing capacity of the roof then the roof will collapse that's it for today uh, thank you for watching my video please don't forget to subscribe my channel